We're in the Caribbean Sea on a mission to find the largest toothed predators in the ocean. There, right there. Sperm whales. We know these giant mammals do battle deep beneath the ocean with their toughest prey, the giant squid. We're gonna send cameras down there where few humans have ever been. Oh. Watch everybody! Thousands of meters below the surface to try to witness a face-off between two fierce combatants. It's one of nature's greatest battles. Sperm whale versus giant squid. We're in the Caribbean Sea to study one of the world's biggest predators. We're headed offshore to find sperm whales. Sperm whales have one of the biggest appetites in the ocean. We need to see how they navigate these vast waters and if they're able to track their prey. We'll be using lots of scientific tools, including specialized whale cams that will take us into their hidden lairs. Sperm whale populations are dwindling so we want to learn as much as we can about them, including how they match up against some fierce prey like bottom-dwelling sharks, and if we're lucky, the giant squid. First, we got to find the right battleground, a place with lots of sperm whales that's also a good habitat for these huge mammals. And we've set our sights here, just off the island of Guadeloupe in the Caribbean Sea. This habitat is very unique. Just a short way from shore, the ocean starts to plunge down to over a thousand meters deep. Prime territory for the sperm whale. These waters support all kinds of sea creatures, including one of the most mysterious marine animals, the giant squid. And there's only one thing in these waters that's known to take on a giant squid and that's the sperm whale. If we're gonna see this high stakes wrestling match for ourselves, we've gotta find some sperm whales. But in an ocean this big, tracking down a 50 ton animal may be harder than you think. They can dive up to two kilometers deep and stay there for an hour and a half. But there's one thing we can always count on. Since they eat more than 2,000 pounds of food a day, they're almost always on the hunt. Before we're ready to study sperm whales, we need to learn about their prey. Where is it out here in this open expanse? To figure that out, we can use this high-tech sonar that we tow behind the boat. Using echoes, we can figure out where the prey is and how much there is. Using sonar, we send a series of sound waves into the water. When they hit an object, whether it's squid or the ocean floor, they bounce back. Then this device records the different densities of creatures along the way and how deep the water is. Now that we've got the data, we know where the sperm whale's prey is. We figured out where the sperm whale prey is, but now we need to find the whales. We can do that by driving along set lines in the water that we call transects. Then, we just have to keep our eyes peeled and map where we find the whales and other sea creatures. Oh, cool, look, pilot whales. We have spotted dolphins there. We want to know where and how many animals there are in the area. Yeah! To figure out if they're able to track their prey. 7.185 minutes north. Yep. By doing a survey of everything out here, we get a snapshot of the area and a better idea of what life is like for sperm whales. Sperm whale. Okay, our sperm whales are at 16 degrees, 9.463 minutes north, and we are in 1,050 meters of water. Now it's time to attach our cameras and depth recorders to gather critical data and hopefully witness the matchup between whale and squid. And we just have to figure out where the whales are gonna come up next. 
this hydrophone is the perfect tool, especially for a whale that makes its way and tracks its prey using clicks called echolocation. And because sound travels so well in the ocean, we can hear them even if they're miles away. Think of this as a large microphone. The dome tells us what direction the clicking is coming from. West. West, so offshore. And can help us predict the sperm whale's underwater pathway. We still don't know when they'll come up, only that when they do, we'll have our chance to put a camera on them. When they dive down again, that camera will record everywhere they go and everything they do for up to 12 hours. To make this work, we need special cameras that are strong enough to withstand the intense pressure of being deep underwater. They're designed by this guy, Mehdi Bakhtieri, engineer extraordinaire. We decided to try touch and copy the sperm whale. We don't want to uh, penetrate anything under the skin. We want to find a spot that is flat enough to put the suction cup. The camera's ready to go. Now we've just got to deploy it onto a whale. There, right there. It is not easy to get these cameras on the whales. Go, 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 go! Everybody! Yes! Yes, 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 yeah! Nice! One on, more to go. It's on, it's on! Woo! -hoo! This camera will record everything the whale does for the next 12 hours, then fall off and float to the surface. We're gonna go back to the mothership. Then we'll come back and get the camera. Once the cameras detach, they emit a signal that we can hear with this radio antenna. All right, it's dry inside. With the cameras in hand, we can now see what happened below the surface. Okay, here we go. Approaching the whale now. This is the juvenile. The camera doesn't only capture the video, but also the sounds. We could hear how these two whales are communicating. You can just hear the mom and the cat responding. Seeing the intimate interaction between the mother and a calf was really special. The sperm whales use the clicking to be in almost constant contact with other members of their pod. This is an echolocation, it's whale talk. Each group has its own unique sound called a coda sperm whales are really social animals. They actually are a lot like elephants that way. But the cool thing is to see it from their perspective and hear how vocal they are, how much they're touching one another, even when they are diving pretty deep. Wow, look at that. Amazing. The camera was along for a ride on the whale we called Olay. Watch this. Olay dives over 1,000 meters in pursuit of something maybe a giant squid, clicking as he chases his prey. Look at that, and you see ink cloud. The clicking suddenly stops, and then, the tentacle of a squid in its mouth. It's the first ever documented footage of a sperm whale eating at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> we have got to get more of these cameras on it. We weren't able to see everything that happened deep underwater. But we think the encounter between this sperm whale 
and what was potentially a giant squid might have gone something like this. Olay likely used echolocation to find her prey, diving over 1,000 meters. It appears the squid saw her and deployed evasive tactics like spraying ink to try to confuse the whale. It was no use. With Olay within reach, the battle would have been on. The squid may have used its barbed tentacles to put up a fight and possibly escape. But Olay came out on top with a tentacle in her mouth. That footage of the sperm whale on the attack and the data we collected is a big step toward understanding these animals better and protecting them too. What we need now is a lot more deployments and a lot more hard work to really unravel the mysteries of these sperm whales. It's on, it's on! One of the best things about science is discovery. And thanks to this mission, we've learned a lot. Now it's up to you to help solve engineering challenges and answer important questions about these sperm whales. Good luck. And remember, there's an awesome world out there waiting to be explored. <laughs>